writing the vocals for Lost has been like the easiest record for me to write to. And um, most fun. Yeah, definitely. I mean, the process, obviously, we, we had to learn how to write together. It started off very slow. Yeah. In, we tried to write a lot of the stuff by ourselves was, and conjoin it externally. It was very busy. I think that was a bit, yeah, I mean, it wasn't really working. tricky. And um, doing it separately, I, I was obviously coming up with parts, you were coming up with parts, and we were we were like doing it in isolation quite heavily. And mm. then I think a lot of that was down to not really being that com confident or comfortable with sharing it straight away because you wanted it to be in a position where it was Yeah, done. yeah, yeah. And, um, you know, we've, we've never... There's something very intense about being in a room with one other person and singing and sort of opening up yeah. like that. So it's quite scary, but as soon, yeah. like, literally within 10 minutes of us getting in a room together rather than working by ourselves, it was instantly more productive, way more fun. I think the lyrics took a bit longer maybe than actually writing the songs. We just wanted to make sure... Make sure that we were... We would stick into themes, mm. but also that we agree what we were going to write about and um, approach it with a common yeah. sort of goal. Because that's that's a tricky thing. I think lyrics are way more personal than melodies or screams. Yeah, yeah. So it, to get in a room and start working out parts and musical stuff is kind of one thing, but actually yeah. putting words to it is it's hard. And I've never found it a quick process. I'm usually really happy with what comes out as a final product, but it's yeah. never, I've never been one of those persons who just go, done. I mean, I remember, I think I I chucked a load of sort of draft lyrics together and threw it over, and this, you refined some of them as well. Yes, I did. And that was quite a good way of working towards sort of the end when we were, especially a couple of songs that we were quite stuck on, I think, yeah. but not forgotten. And also, geez, what was the other one? Signal Fire. I think those two were the- Oh, the start, because we, yeah, we the end was quite, yeah, and it was done easily. But, I mean, that was the interesting thing, stepping backwards briefly, is that there, in terms of us working together, there were a few things where one of us would just bring an idea and it'd just be, there'd be no conversation. It'd be like, that's it. Yeah. That's yeah. it. And there's other times where we'd be working out sort of parts between us and we'd really be hammering it out. Mm -hmm. So someone, one of us would tr just make up a part on the spot and go, I like that, I like that, I like that. That bit's not so much. And we'd start really just pulling the whole phrase apart I mean, even moving stuff around, but between yeah. us, someone would go, well, I like that part, but what if you did these notes between them? And eventually, between the two of us, we'd write some lines that neither of us would have come up with. No, definitely. Which is kind of more interesting, because it's not just the product of one of our minds. It's really one of us, like, both exactly. of us working off each other. The bit I always remember was the end of Witness Marks and how we came up with that oh, vocal that's, pattern. And yeah. it was just one of those really, like righteous moments where it's like fuck yeah yeah that's so awesome just cut loads of bits together didn't we yeah, yeah. Like, and just instead of like going doing what we usually do and that's mm. the good thing about this record is that we've we we purposely stayed away from just doing everything we've always done yeah and we tried a few a few new things so that that ending section where on witness marks especially where we've gone for a, don't follow up with the notes mate don't go for like the big vocal ending because the music's there it's, it's, it's kind of makes it sadder back. in a way <clears throat> yeah. A bit more mournful. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, it worked out pretty well. So I guess the decision to bring you back into the into the fold was, it was made without really having to make a decision. But it was quite sort of organic, because it just sort of, after yeah. the Fragile Hope shows, kind of kept asking me back to do some more bits and yeah, pieces. Yeah. And I, I was going to bite your hand off every opportunity. Yeah, it was great. To play some of these songs. I guess, I guess we were just getting well, and you know we knew it added something to the sound and everybody was just having the best time I think they've had in the band for ages. And it was like, if the vibe's this good and we've added something to the sound and we've never been a band that's about egos or anything like that. So it's never going to be about competition for being a front man, et cetera. No. It's easy, wasn't it? Yeah. Like exactly. We both just got on off the bat. Yeah. I mean, if it, if it hadn't gone that way, it would be no, quite a different situation. I don't situation, think the band I'm would sure. still be here. But genuinely, I don't. I don't think. I don't think if the fragile, fragile Hope shows had happened and it had been as positive as they were, and we had a great time, um, that really kicked like kicked us into a, a new phase for the band, like a really positive era mm. where we haven't really stopped going from there. Which is I, I feel even from going backwards, yeah. doing those Fragile Hope shows, that's the most positive I've ever felt in this band and I think yeah. that's probably true of all of us it was just I guess there was something slightly freeing about everyone's situation everyone's yeah. kind of just here to enjoy the ride really I think it feels a little bit like 
a new version of the band, everything that was good about before, but then potentially some more on top of that with just, everything just feels really good at the moment. Everyone's really just in a good place, I think. And everyone's really happy with how things are going. Definitely think it's the most positive we've been as a band coming into anything I and mean, all the opportunities that have been put in front of us now, um, especially work with Nuclear Blast, it's just opened up doors that we probably never would have had previously. Um, the campaign and the team that are working on it are really pushing it to the areas that we want it to be. So I'd say this current form of Devil Soldier Soul feels like a second version of the band. I mean, maybe maybe even a third version of the band, because yeah. obviously when you yeah, yeah. and I came in, I'd say that was probably a second, not necessarily a better one, but it was definitely a different, different one. one. Um, and this feels like Mark III, version three, whatever, and it's the best we've ever been. It really feels like we've been working together for a really long time because of how yeah. quickly we really got on and I just have no nothing negative to say about it really. No, no, nothing about the album as well. I can't I can't look back on any song, anything that's there and just go, No, I wish we'd done that differently or I, I, I wish I was seeing that bit or I wish we'd done this. Yeah. But really I just think everything's come out. Yeah, it's, really awesome. it's been great. It's been the best writing experience of, um, of my life so far. 